In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for HI plus BaOH2. This is hydroiodic acid. This is barium hydroxide. First thing we need to do for net ionic equations, balance the molecular equation. You can see I have two iodines here and one here. So I'm going to put, put a 2 in front of the HI. Now it looks like I have, if I put a 2 here, I'll have two oxygens on this side, two on this side four hydrogens, and then two times two, four. This is a balanced molecular equation. Now we write the state for each substance. This is a helpful table, one you might want to memorize. As we look at it, we have the strong acids, the common strong acids and strong bases. HI is considered a strong acid. So we're gonna put an AQ, it's a strong electrolyte. It'll dissociate into its ions. Barium hydroxide is a strong base. Again, AQ, it's a strong electrolyte. Compounds with iodine, very soluble, and then water, that is a liquid. So we have the states for each substance. Next, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. That gives us the complete ionic equation, sometimes called the total ionic equation. Hydrogen group one has a one plus charge, iodine one minus. So I have two hydrogen ions, and I won't write AQ each time. Let's do that at the end plus two iodide ions. Then for barium hydroxide, strong electrolyte, we have two plus, this is in group two, and the whole hydroxide, that's one minus. So I have Ba2 plus, plus I have two hydroxide ions. So these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. We said barium's two plus, iodine one minus. So reactants, I have Ba2 plus, that barium ion, and then I have two iodide ions. And then for net ion equations, we do not split apart liquids, so we just have plus 2H2O. So these are the products in our net ionic equation. We can now cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. In effect, they haven't changed and we're not interested in them. I can see in the reactants, I have two iodide ions. I also have two iodide ions in the products. I'm gonna cross those out. I have a barium ion here, and then again in the products. Let's cross that out. And what remains is the net ionic equation for HI plus BaOH2. I'll clean this up and write the states in, and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is our balanced net ionic equation for hydroiodic acid plus barium hydroxide. We note that we have two, two, and two as our coefficients. We can reduce that to one, one, one. We don't write the one. A little more compact net ionic equation. You can see charge is conserved. We have a positive and a negative. On this side, it's neutral, so those balance out. Plus, mass is also conserved. We have one, two, so two hydrogens here, two here. One oxygen here, one oxygen here. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.